that John Brown was saying was funny. He said, Mark was, you know, a desperate man grasping at straws. There's nothing to it. Don't worry about it. And, and basically that was it. Developing news in the court of inquiry against State District Judge Ken Anderson. Right now, former Williamson County Prosecutor John Bradley is taking his turn on the stand. Chris Sadegi joins us from the Williamson County Courthouse with more on this developing story. Chris. Well, Leslie, what you just heard was an old juror talking about a conversation he had with Bradley, who for years dismissed Michael Morton's cries for DNA testing as signs of a desperate man. Well, now Bradley is on the stand in this court of inquiry explaining why he resisted that DNA testing. Bradley worked with Ken Anderson in the DA's office and said that Anderson took a lot of pride in the Morton conviction. The first time DNA testing was requested was in 1990, and Bradley said it simply wasn't in line with state law at the time. Then when the Innocence Project began pressing in 2005, he would talk to Anderson about the case again, and Anderson's strong belief in Morton's guilt led Bradley to oppose DNA testing because he didn't feel it would lead to a third-party killer. But as for the evidence that never made it to trial that Anderson is accused of withholding, Bradley said through all these years, he never knew about it. The only issue that was raised and was being discussed was the uh, need for post-conviction DNA testing. To answer that question and imply that over the years of working with Mr. Anderson, he never volunteered that information implies that it was somehow the subject of some litigation, and it wasn't. And Bradley went on to say that had he known there was potential evidence that was withheld, he would have ordered that the Morton file be reviewed. As I said, he's still on the stand right now. Stay tuned to KXAN and KXAN.com for all the latest of his testimony. For now, we're live in Georgetown. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. John Bradley's long career will forever be connected to the Michael Morton trial. He joined the Williamson County DA's office in 1989, serving under Ken Anderson. And after Anderson moved up to the judgeship in late 2002, Governor Perry appointed Bradley as the county's district attorney. Bradley was not involved in the original Michael Morton trial, but he was a major part in the most recent push to overturn the conviction. He fought to prevent testing of the bandana that eventually set Michael Morton free. The Morton trial became a flashpoint in the primary election last May. After winning uncontested re-elections in 2004 and 8, Bradley lost to fellow Republican Jana Duty. Several of Duty's ads referred to the Morton case.